everyone. Ooh, can't see me. Today's Wednesday, May 6th. I'm taping my big warm uh, wrap off. I'm a little warmer today, so that's good. I hope you had a great day yesterday and you tried out your sentences, maybe tried out typing in Google Docs and using read and write. That's great. Um, so today we're going to start with our prayer and our song, a warm-up, and we're going to finish off with our non-fiction work for Ladybugs with a few sentences about movement. I'm going to turn you around for our prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll do Mary's song because we are in the month of May, and May is Mary's month. She gets her month. And here it is. Let's hear you singing loud and proud. Not a lot of words, so you should be able to follow along. I sing to Mary. in the yard. They get their rakes and start at the side of the yard. They rake the leaves into one big pile. See all of that? 
What's the main idea? Is it all about Michelle and her dad get their rakes? Is it all about finding their rakes? Or Michelle and her dad are raking leaves. Is the whole thing about raking leaves? Or the leaves are in one big pile. Is the whole thing about that? The main message would be B. Michelle and her dad are raking leaves. All right, let's try the next oh, another ocean one, a longer story. While exploring the Indian Ocean, so that's the name of one of the oceans, the crew members, a crew, people who work on the boat, made a great discovery. That means they found something. Approximately, means about six feet from the sea floor, they found a sunken Spanish ship. The ship probably sunk down in the early 1500s. Inside the ship, the crewmen found a trunk filled with pirate treasures. What a discovery. So what's the main idea? What's the whole thing about? The ship sunk in the 1500s. Was that just one part or was it about the whole thing? The crewmen saw pirate treasures in the sunken ship. Is that the whole thing or just one part? The crew found a sunken Spanish ship. Is the whole thing about a sunken ship? I think so. So the answer would be C. All right. And now for our action words, verbs. Today and yesterday, we'll review yesterday's and we'll add some new ones. Remember, try to yell it out before I say the answer. Today I will sell something. Yesterday I sold it. Today I will catch a ball. Yesterday I caught a ball. Today I'll make my bed. Yesterday I made my bed. Today I'll sit. Yesterday I sat. Today I will keep something. Yesterday I kept something. Today I will lend you a toy. Yesterday I lent you a toy. Here's the new ones. Today I will leave you alone. Yesterday I left you alone. Today I'll lay down. Yesterday I laid down. Today I will lose my tooth. Yesterday I lost my tooth. Today, I will really mean it. Yesterday, I really meant it. Today, I will meet you outside. Yesterday, I met you outside. Today, I will put my shorts on. Yesterday, I put, that one doesn't change, I will put my shorts on. Today, I will quit the game. Yesterday, I quit. Same thing, it does not change. Quit the game. Today, I'll ride a horse. Yesterday, I rode a horse. Right, and now our robot work. Next week, I'm going to be challenging you with our robot work. All right, so where are we? Okay. And I'll guess my word. B L makes bell. S L makes cell. D L makes del. J L makes gel. S L makes cell. Your turn. Everyone say back. Do the robot. B -e -k -beck. Everyone say deck. Do the robot. D -e -k deck. Everyone say neck. Do the robot. N -e -k neck. Everyone say check. Do the robot. Ch -e -k 
cup. All right, and our next level, a little bit more difficult. Where am I? Here we go. Guess my word. Uh, oh, here, okay. B, L, A, G makes blog. K, L, A, G makes clog. F, R, A, G makes frog. D, R, A, P makes drop. Everyone say flop. Do the robot. F, L, A, P, flop. Everyone say stock. Do the robot. S, T, A, P, stock. Everyone say trim. Do the robot. T, R, M, trim. Everyone say twig. Do the robot. T, W, E, G, twig. And our super challenge words. Guess my word. S, and, B, O, X makes sandbox. S, L, ing, sh, a, t makes slingshot. M, il, k, m, an makes milkman. Everyone say ostrich. Do the robot. A, s, t, r, i, j, ostrich. Everyone say chipmunk. Do the robot. Ch, i, p, m, un, k, chipmunk. Everyone say hundred. Do the robot. H, a, n, d, r, e, d, hundred. All right, so I'm going to turn you around so that you can see the chart. See if I can find my marker. I'm always losing that marker. Maybe I left it over here. I'm going to turn you around. So yes, yesterday we did food. We don't need to read about movement. We'll just use this black one. I don't know what I did with my blue one. So I'm going to do a new title. And I'll use the same chart so you don't waste paper. I'm just going to make a line. I'm going to write movement in the middle at the top with a line and a capital. That way we know it's the title. Movement. Movement means how they move around. I chunky monkey, I hear the word move. Movement. And thinking about everything we've seen and read about, what do we know? What can what can ladybugs do? They can fly. Add a word. What do they use to fly? They have two wings. And then ing, I-N-G. And they don't just fly. What else can they do? They can Walk. What do they have that helps them walk? They have six legs. And they're also pretty good at this. They even do it on my windows. They can, they're very good at this. They, they must have something sticky on the end of their feet to do it. But anyways, they climb. They are good climbers. They climb. Things they fly, two wings, walk, six legs, climb. 
Now they use their legs for climbing and they use their legs for walking. So I think we can put that together in one sentence and then fly can go on its own. Now here I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to be turning around and we're going to look at how to get into your Google Docs again. But you might want to challenge yourself to pause here and try to get in on your own. Do you remember the steps? If you get stuck and it's not working, then just turn the video back on and follow my steps. But if you think, you know what, maybe I know how to do this, then get right to it. See if you can find your student portal. That's where your Gmail is when you're going to your mail and get your invitations for our Google Meets. But instead of pressing mail, you're going to press the triangle, the blue and the red and the yellow triangle. And we're starting a new document today. And if you really want to challenge yourself, keep going. Press the purple puzzle piece, make a title, movement, change it to 18 for the size, and try writing your two sentences. And adding a picture. <gasps> Can you do all of that? Get into your docu into your student portal, open a new document in the yellow folder. Always go to your yellow folder, open a new document write your two sentences. Remembering to put the title, movement. If you're not too sure, that's okay. You can follow along with me. And if you're not working on a computer and you can't get to your student portal, get a pencil and paper. That's okay too. All right, so I'm going to turn you around. And here we go. So bye to those of you who are going to try on your own and we'll see you back here in a few minutes the rest of us let's keep following along so I'm going to get out of this we don't need this right now I'm going to pretend that wasn't already there all right so you need to get to your student portal you can put one of your school's email addresses so I'm going to put divine infant div dot o c s b dot c a enter now you're going to pick student portal I'm going to go to staff because I'm a staff and it's going to bring you to all your choices we're not going to mail we're going to your drive yellow green and blue triangle on that. For you, it will probably ask you for your email address and your password. And you, if you've been coming to our Google Meets, you know what that is. If you don't know what your email address is or your password, have mom and dad email me and I will send it to them. So here, you're going to go to your yellow folder. It sh you should, when you're doing work for Madame Sege, you should always go to your yellow folder. Click on that. Everything you've done for me is there. My morning routine, my bedtime routine, ladybug food, everything that you've done will be in there. So now we're going to new, up here where it says new, because we're starting something new today, new, and you're going to scroll down to Google Docs. It will be blue, Google Docs. And now you're starting a new page. A document is like a page. So you want to come up to the top here where it says Untitled Document and you're going to give it a title. If you don't do that, it'll be hard to find on another day. So I'm going to write Ladybug Movement. Remember, you can always pause if I'm going too fast. Press your purple puzzle piece to get these extra helping tools here. I'm going to change the size from 11 to 18, a little bit bigger. Now we want to make a title and a title goes in the middle. So you're going to press these lines here tells if you're going to be writing on the left side or on the right side or in the middle. So this is left, right, and this one here is in the middle. I'm going to press that one. And you're going to press the underline here. Because we know a title gets an underline and a 
I'm going to write, and I'm going to do a capital, movement. Enter. Well, now it's still in the middle, and it's still underlined. I have to take that off. So click on the U with the line, take it off. And I'm going to go back to the first one, the left. See, the, and the flashing line is right at the spot that we want it to be. So that's excellent. All right, so fly to wings. How can we put that into a sentence? Oh, I forgot one thing. We have to press on the head here and on the headphones. Those, the head will give you choices of words and the headphone will let you say a word if you can't find it. Okay, so here we go. How about ladybugs can fly, no, ladybugs use their two wings to fly. Boop. Okay, so ladybug with a capital. Let's say I didn't, I'm getting lazy and I don't want to write the whole word ladybug. I'm going to press on the microphone and I'm just going to say it. Ladybugs. Oh, look at that. It typed it for me. Ladybugs use their two wings to fly. Boop. Now I'm going to put the flashing line at the beginning and listen. Ladybugs use their two wings to fly. Perfect. Now my next one. Walk, six legs, climb. What are we going to say? Ladybugs use their six legs to walk and climb. Now I already wrote ladybugs right here, so I can just copy that. That's easy. Capital. Bugs use their, so far it's the exactly same thing as up top, their six legs. Let's do the robot. L eggs. Legs. Oh, the predictor's off again. Six legs to walk and to climb. I'm going to see if it's over here. Clarify, claim, close, clear, clean, climb. There it is, climb. And a period. I'll put the flashing line to the beginning of my sentence. And I'm going to listen by pressing play. Ladybugs use their six legs to walk and to climb. Now I want to add a picture. I'm going to go down over here to the star to add a picture. And in the search, where you see the magnifying glass, you're searching, you're going to write what you're looking for. I'm going to write ladybug flying. Ladybug flying. Image. I want a picture. Oh, well, there's one with the wings. I'm going to do press the plus sign. And the shell opens up and then the wings come out. And then ladybugs climbing and walking. So I'm going to go to search again. Ladybug climbing. Oh, there's one climbing right up the stem. Plus, there we go. Remember if you want to change the size, you click on the picture and then you go to the squares and just click down and just scrunch it up. So there's our page. Awesome. And it's in your yellow folder so I will be able to see your work. Now I'm just going to turn you around here. 
I want to just tell you about something, and I'll be emailing your parents about it too, and I told you about it at coffee time. Next week for coffee time... We're gonna we're gonna talk about our weekend, of course, but we're also I'm just gonna turn this chart around. We're also going to uh, challenge each other, test each other to see how much ladybug information we remember. And instead of me doing all the work and coming up with questions, I'll do some, but I want you to do some as well. I would like you to think of one what question about ladybugs. One when question, one why question, one who question, one how question, and one where question. Remember questions get a question mark at the ending. Don't forget your question marks. Then I want you to put a square, a rectangle, and write the answer. So it could be something like what? What do ladybugs like to eat? Or what? When do ladybugs eat their eggs? Where do ladybugs eat? Now I'm not going to say any more. I don't want to give all, so I want you to try and think of harder ones. Ones that people might go, mm, I don't know the answer to that. Okay, so your challenge is to write a, one question for each word, what, when, why, who, how, and where. And write them down and have them ready f with you um, for coffee time. And you're going to be trying to see who can answer your question, and if your question is challenging enough, Maybe no one will know, and you'll have to say the answer. So that's your challenge for coffee time on Monday. So have a great afternoon, friends, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be leaving Ladybug stuff. I'll be reminding you about your questions, but that's it. We're going to be starting some um, Mother's Day work. Okay, tomorrow and Friday, Mother's Day stuff. Leaving the lady bumps aside for a little bit because it's Mother's Day and we can't forget our moms. Okay, so have a great afternoon and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.